Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to open disk management in Windows 10 or 11. Disk management lets you get at your partitions. You can change drive letters, initialize a new hard drive. You can do quite a bit, but if you've never used it before, please keep in mind, if you <laughs> touch the wrong thing, your Windows will no longer boot. But you got to start somewhere, right? So let's start with disk management. Take a look at what we can do. One of the things kind of popular people do with this is wipe everything out before they reinstall Windows, which you can usually do when you reinstall Windows as well. So it's not used as much as it used to be, and there's a lot of third-party utilities that do a much better job. So let's start with the power user menu. That's the Windows key plus X, so you can press that now, or right-click on Start and look for Disk Management. Right there. I'll do it with the uh, Windows key plus X. Disk Management. Give it a second to pop up and you'll be able to see all your drives. There's a lot going on in here, so we're not going to cover that too much today. That's a whole video into itself. There's my system partition. There's my main drive. And there's my recovery partition. If I was in my other build of Windows, you would also see any other attached drives, for example, my backup drive. And there you have it. So as you can see, you can kind of come here, let's say C, and you can right-click on it open it, explore it, change the drive letters and paths, shrink it, in some cases extend it, properties, which you can get to from File Explorer as well. And of course you have it up here, refresh, actions, view, options, and of course the all important help, because, you know, it's not for everybody to be playing around in it. So, so that's the easiest way to do it, it's right there waiting for you in the power menu or right clicking on start. The run menu, you do the Windows key plus R. Get that up there and type in D-I-S-K M-G-M-T dot M-S-C and that's going to automatically open it. It's a good alternative if for some reason it's not showing up on your power menu. And there it is, the exact same thing. And again, if you're new to it, feel free to look around. As you can see, you can't always do anything on some of the partitions, and for good reason, which is why sometimes third-party utilities are much more popular. This is pretty good for extending, wiping out, drive, stuff like that, changing your drive letters. That's about it. Let's explore. Let's take a look. Give that a minute to pop up. But feel free to do exactly what I'm doing. There you go, it's just opening your file explorer. So feel free to click around as long as you don't apply the changes. You can't do any harm. So that's how we learn about computers is by looking it up. If you don't know what a recovery partition is, Google. If you don't know what EFI system partition is, Google it. Take your time, have a look around. Pretty easy, right? All right, last, oh not last, third. Search. One of the biggest things in Windows now is search. I use it all the time. It doesn't matter for what. But if you don't know what you, where to find something, this is the way to do it. So for example, let's just say disk management. So you start typing it up and there is create and format hard disk partitions. It's always in two places or three. Here's another one here and another one here. So you can click anywhere you want and that will bring it up. So uh, I love search for this. If you can't find something and disk management's a great example, you don't know where it is, search for it. You might be able to type in other stuff. Um, let's see, manage drives maybe, but you'll get there. So again, it doesn't work, but there's tutorials on how to do it. Should be ours, but it's not. But again, you can type in anything you want and you will get there. And of course, what kind of geek would we be if we didn't mess around with the command prompt? So you remember up here, last thing we just did in search, above search, we did the Windows key plus R. So if you have that code right there, disk mgmt.msc, you can use that from the command prompt. So it doesn't matter whether it's PowerShell, command prompt, or Windows terminal. So we'll do Windows key plus X to get there quickly. And we'll just do Windows PowerShell. Once again, I always default to admin just in case. I don't think you need it here, but let's play it safe. And again, we're going to do exactly what I told you. D-I-S-K mgmt. I hope I got that right. MSC. Did I get that right? Yes. 
and there it is. So again, for anybody who knows about disk management, there's a few different ways you can get into it. Anybody who does know about it, feel free to click on maybe your C drive and just have a look around, see what you can do. Again, the, these tabs across here are pretty much the same as what you might see here for the most part. And of course, the right click. So change drive letters and path. Now you could break it. So you want to be real careful and have your Windows ISO ready. But again, the tutorial is more about just how to get it open. So now that it's open, feel free to look around, check it out, see what you can do. And as long as you don't make the change, you saw I just did that. I clicked on it. I can look at it. I don't have to do anything though. But then I can understand what I can do and you can kind of work your way into it from there. It's a great way to learn about how to manage your partitions. And again, you might want to consider a third party one. We've got a whole bunch of my major geeks. If you just type in over here on the search, manage partitions, for example, it should come up with a whole bunch of files in the search to help you find programs that do a much, much better job. But this is kind of a Windows brute tool. It does what it does. And that's why there's always better third-party utilities. And there you have it. There's a few ways you can open disk management in Windows 10 or 11. Thanks for watching. As always, appreciate you. See ya.